After a battle with cancer in 2016, myself, Jason, Lorraine, our daughter, Little Miss P, we sold all of our stuff and left Los Angeles to start a small one and a half acre homestead. With no farming background, we wanted to figure out how to grow our own food and live as healthy as possible and to just live a happy life as a family. Current situation right here, we got the welder, welding mask, grinder. I'm still working on this enclosed trailer renovation. I'm gonna turn this into a cool room. I was hoping I'm gonna finish it before Homesteaders of America conference, but that does not look like it's gonna happen. So I wanna get to a good stopping point. And so with that, all the paint's done. Also, I'm gonna be doing a specific video on this build, you guys. Um, a few, uh, probably a couple of them at least. One of them is gonna be the trailer renovation. The other one is gonna be the actual converting it into a cool room. But today is just a vlog. I'm showing you what I'm doing today. Also today, we need to set up for butcher day. It's about that time of the month where we have our last 40 broiler chickens and they're eight weeks old now. 20 in here, 20 in there. We're hosting our last chicken workshop of the year. After moving all these chickens, twice a day all summer long until this is it. We have our quail in here. These are these, these quail are eight weeks old also. Hard to believe they're super tiny. We're gonna be butchering these guys also tomorrow. And that's gonna be interesting because I've never butchered quail before. And from what I understand is that all you need is a pair of scissors. I got new lights on here. I just installed the roof. I'm not done with it yet. I need to seal the edges here and maybe even screw it down on the top here. I screwed it on on the sides, but this is brand new aluminum trim. I flex sealed the top and I flex sealed all the seams, all the, the, the screws, the rivets, everything in here to make it super watertight. A couple coats of paint. Only thing left to do here is seal up the top and then install the lighting, the, the brand new lighting tail lights here. I already redid the lighting up in here on the sides uh, and I'm just trying to button up the electrical in here. Once I have insulation in here, I'm not going to be able to get to electrical. So I need the electrical to work and I need to test it out after I redo it all. And the problem I'm having here is that these lights. I've gotten two different ones of these and I've made two different trips to the hardware store. These are too small. This opening is too big. I tried looking online and rather deal with all that, I'm just gonna make something here. This is the old light. I mean, it's supposed to just fit in there really snug, but it just popped out. I mean, it would leak. It looked like the previous owners um, kind of put some tape on there to hold it in place but it would just pop out and and it would leak it would not be and, and it i'm trying to make this look nice my idea is that i'm gonna weld a steel plate in the back of this basically covering up this hole and then i'm gonna get this one and this is a surface mounted probably can't see that but the holes are just too small they don't grab onto any of the metal and so if I cover that, I'm gonna screw this onto the new piece and then you know seal around it and everything. I don't know, that's my idea. What do you think? It's gonna work? Because I'm tired of just trying to look online, tr go to every hardware store in Asheville. Well, let's just make it up as we go.
I gotta clean off some of the edges on the trailer to make it just clean metal to weld on. I'm gonna bring my welder down, hook everything up. Alright, <laughs> a little caulk and paint, and you make it what it ain't. It's solid on there, I put some glue, some really heavy duty liquid nail on there. I've been lucky this week with no rain. Uh, because I'm working outside into this and you know, I needed to rip out rip off the roof and, and paint and seal everything And so we lucked out this week, but today it's supposed to rain. It's supposed to rain tomorrow during butchering day um, But again, we'll see if we're in the mountains it, it could be pushed out, but just in case I need to seal these things up I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I need to seal this back up. I really I just want to cock around it I'm gonna use some flex seal Finish painting that, and then we can install the tail lights. If you, if you're wondering what I'm listening to, Ro Robin Hood soundtrack, uh, the the original cartoon version. <laughs> All right, we're all done here for today. Well, I think I'm completely done. Actually, the only thing I really have to do is install these lights. I like how this turned out. I flex sealed all inside there. I need to finish painting around it. The top has been sealed, but now the real test is when the rain comes, because it is supposed to rain this week, maybe tonight. Let's clean up this wood. Hey pigs, I already fed you today. I'm gonna come back a little bit later, feed you guys. You guys are getting big. I'm still having trouble. I never did this uh, little starter thing. So I'm having to use a screwdriver to prop it up. Give it a little help. Here's a quick tip on butchering day. If you have some twine, some string, or some rope, tie it together and then slip it through up top on your easy up and you slip it through so that way it's tight. Right. And that way you have somewhere to hang your hose. So that way the hose, hose is not laying on the floor or on a table. It's already suspended in the air for you. We put one on each table station. So there's one there and then there's one here. This is our last setup of the year, Randy. Last Randy's season. been here every single one this year. Every single one. This every butcher, every setup. Are, are you sad? No. Well, <laughs> it's going to be a sad day tomorrow. But <laughs> for the chickens. For the chickens, for yeah. Yeah. Until, yeah. Next year. The next time we'll do this well, is probably in nine months. It seems like a long time. It'll go by quick. But, but it's nothing. Yeah. Before I know it, yeah, it's gonna come here. Well, nine months. That's that's a pregnancy, right? <laughs> <laughs> It'll give us a nine month break. Nine, nine month, month break. break. Okay. Yeah. But it's not over. We still got next month for 
possum and pigs. pigs, right? Yep, yep. Yeah, the pigs are the grand finale of the year. Right. Um, but yeah, as far as meat chickens, plus our quail, tomorrow's the day. Are these squash good? Yes, those are good. Those are spaghetti squash. They're good. Actually, the vine, it just dried out and dropped them off anyway, so. We're picking flowers. And then the vine also dried off on this one too. So I was like, should we pick a watermelon? And it wasn't even connected anymore. So yes, it was ready. <laughs> and then we've got flowers. Looking forward to trying this, this quail. This is actually a small cone that I bought for, for short and fat chickens, but this is actually a quail cone. Not knowing I was gonna be butchering quail is when I bought that, so kind of weird how that works out. I need to move these chickens and make my way over to the butchering station uh, so I don't have to do so much in the morning. We restricted their feed, we fed them uh, early this morning. They'll have no feed for 24 hours. Still access to grass, water. I'm not gonna need any of these. This trough, they'll just be in our way tomorrow, so if I just take them out. We're having chicken. What else? Cabbage? This is apples and onions. It's such a delicious dish. Apples, onions, sage, and cabbage. And it's all just sauteed in butter, and it's so good. We've got some rice in this pot, and then I'm gonna cut up little tiny pieces of naan, and then we can dip it in our gravy over here. 